today we're going to learn about the striker stair chair and the striker stretcher. First, we're going to go with the stair chair. The stair chair here can found in the, be found in the side compartment of the ambulance. It will be folded up in the ambulance like this. So whenever you pull it out, you want to fold it up to a seated position. This device is used whenever you have a patient who lives inside of a top compartment home, like a trailer, or if you have to go down a lot of stairs to get them in and out, it's a whole lot easier. This is a safer on paramedics or empty basic, or anybody else for that matter, for their back and safety. So the components of this stair chair, we're going to start with the straps here. These straps are a four-point harness. There are four straps. You have the straps that go across the middle here in the center. And these two go across the patient's chest and over their arms. So these straps are going to go over their chest, secure here in the center, and these two points go through the metal pieces and interlock and lock using seatbelt fashion. They can be loosened and tightened on either end. Here you can find them loosened or you can tie. From here, you've got the backrest and this contoured seat that's uh, used mainly for patient comfort. Here, it says it's a max weight of 400 pounds. So if they're any larger, it's not a very good device for that. Here at the bottom, you will find some hand handles. The feet handles are used whenever you're taking a patient down a flight of stairs. You want to hold on to them down here at the bottom. To release them, you push the, the red buttons, and they move in and out, usually with less force. Here at the bottom, you'll find a feet, um, a feet pedal where you can patients can rest their feet, and you can secure them with a strap here at the feet. And you can tighten those as well. You'll find some small wheels and the larger wheels. The larger wheels are used mainly whenever you're going across a bumpy surface uh, or an uneven surface. As you'll see, this thing glides with, that, with ease on concrete and other flat surfaces. This is mainly in good use for whenever you've got a patient in a small home that you're not able to get the stretcher in and out of easily. The stair chair is easily maneuvered with one person when wheeled or two persons going up and down the flat stairs. Here on the back part of the stretcher, or stair chair, sorry, you'll find that there is a, a bar up here at the head. With this bar, you want to take this lever and gently pull on it, and it lifts it up to an upright motion. And this can be used to lean the patient back and roll them, or to roll them down this flight of stairs. To release this, you let it down. Here you'll find some more, another set of handles. To release them, you'll push the red buttons in. And these are also a, a way to guide the stair chair. Release these. These tracks on the end, you push the bar up and it releases the tracks. The tracks on here are made out of Kevlar. They grab a hold of the stairs and use the stairs to go down in a downward motion allowing the weight to be, a lot of the weight to be bared on the stairs instead of paramedic holding onto the stair chair going down. To release that, you push the red bar, push it in. Up here on the bar, I forgot to mention, you have a strap, a Velcro strap, for whenever you've got a combative patient or a patient that you want to hold um, in an upright position, you can apply this around their head in a hold position. It's not used very often, but it's there for, if needed. Down here on the bottom, there's another red lever. This red lever allows you to release the stair chair back into a folded position. To allow you to put it back in the ambulance. But for now, we're going to leave it open. 